Happy New Year, Tri-City. I'm Aaron, and this is TCNN. Although we had an unconventional 2020 Christmas, it does not take away from the inspiration shown through this holiday season here at Tri-City. Most of us enjoyed the benefit of receiving gifts on Christmas to reflect how much God has given us. However, some students do not enjoy this privilege. Here's Elizabeth with that story. Upon hearing that a Tri-City student was not going to receive anything for Christmas, fellow students came together to change that. What inspired me to get Eric the gift was pretty much he's just one of my best friends and he told me that he didn't get any gifts and I felt bad so I just wanted to get him something. The way we got all the money was that we had to go around and ask a whole bunch of people for money. A lot of people donated, I had to go in my room, find a whole bunch of coins and eventually we got enough money to buy the Switch. I really liked the whole process of buying the gift and everything, making the video, but I think my favorite part was probably giving him the gift because we got to see his reaction. When I got my Christmas gift, I was extremely happy. Since I received this Christmas gift, I was pretty much playing it every day, and my favorite game is Super Mario. So all the people who donated this gift for me, I will really, really, really appreciate for you guys from my deep heart. Thank you guys really much. I was motivated to donate because uh, I've been around Eric and he's like a super nice guy and uh, I just wanted to help out with making his holiday like super special. So when Eric got his gift it made me super happy because like I got to see how excited he got. It was really wholesome and I was really happy to be a part of that. It is so encouraging to see students at Tri-City taking initiative and in showing the love of Jesus Christ to others. Wow, thanks to all the students involved in making this kind gesture possible. This is a great reminder that even through difficult times, there is still a great love of Jesus Christ to share to others. Now, with a challenging year officially behind us, many people are creating New Year's resolutions in hopes for an improved attitude and fresh perspective and what will be hopefully a fantastic year. With the new year arriving fast, it is important to set goals for yourself to make this year better than the last. A popular way of doing this is to make New Year's resolutions and to try to stick with them through the upcoming year. Yes, I have made New Year's resolutions. Uh, my main one is uh, to stay more consistent with everything, whether that be like my faith or like working out, like striving to get my goals. A uh, New Year's resolution I made this year is to read more of my Bible and just be more in touch with God. I've made one New Year resolution and I gotta hit 405 on bench by the end of the year. Normally like I could stick with them for like a while but then they kind of die off. Hmm. I usually don't make past resolutions but usually if I make one I'll stick to it. Unfortunately no, last year I had the same resolution so I didn't get it. There's no doubt that 2020 was a hard year no matter a person's circumstance. However, we are all hope and praying that 2020 will bring more in store for us and our walk with God. I think that 2021 will be different because I'm moving on to bigger and better things and you know, I feel like I reached one of my goals. I feel like the beginning will just be the same, but hopefully by the end of it, it will be different. It honestly depends because if I get 405, it'll be a great year, but if not, I think it'll be like the same. Good luck to everyone making resolutions this year. Remember, if you ever find yourself struggling to keep up with 2021, you can always look to God and pray to him for guidance and comfort. I'm Jess with TCNN. Thanks, Jess. What a great message to start the year. However, like any year, 2021 will not come without its challenges and controversy. One of many being the recently released COVID-19 vaccine. Being the first of its kind, it's relatively hasty production compared to previous vaccines and brief testing time. Naturally, there is some polarization surrounding the subject. In the year 2021, a virus has been affecting all the American people's lives. There's recently been a vaccine that has rolled out that says it will help prevent this virus from killing many more. Well, Tri-City is um, an educational institution. So in the state, that means that we are um, um, an essential uh, employer and so that means it's for our employees, our teachers and those others who are working at the school. I do have a conviction not to take the vaccine and I just don't find it necessary because of the convictions I have on health so that will be a no. <laughs> so I have not made a firm decision on this yet. Um, I will definitely not be first in line to get it. I want to see how reactions are I prior to uh, making my judgment. Thank you.
Uh, I think I will be taking the vaccine, mainly just because I want this whole thing to be over, pretty much, and I think the vaccine will help that happen faster. Right now, it is being rolled out and distributed to many health professionals that are on the front line battling this virus, hoping many people stay alive and healthy. Next in line are teachers to receive this vaccine. Will you take it or will you not? Well, whatever is decided, we can rest assured that God is in, still in control. As Romans 8.28 says, says, And we know that all things who love God, all things work together for good. And for those who are called according to His purpose. Now, with the significant delay in the sports season here at Tri-City, many are holding their breath on when it will start and what will be different. Sports at Tri-City have been on hold since the beginning of the school year. And as everybody here at Tri-City, we've been waiting patiently until that changes. A lot of it has to do with the fact that uh, as soon as we pay attention to the data, uh, the data out there for, for schools and states that have had seasons already, uh, I think we're gonna realize that it's rather safe to play as long as we follow protocols, making sure that you know kids have been tested, that kids have had all the proper social distancing that they're supposed to have had once they get onto the field. CIF uh, is at the mercy of the governor uh, and that's that's the key. So as I think eventually you're going to see a lot of those people that are private entities rise up and say, hey, you know what, we're going to play. Come get us. With the COVID, uh, they have put basketball along with the other uh, uh, winter and spring sports together. So it's supposed to start in March and go to the end of May. So we're looking forward to it as far as the kids that have signed up. We have over 16 kids that have signed up already and hopeful uh, that it'll take place. I'm pretty confident that by the time we get to April when our first game scheduled that we'll have a season by then because uh, we have to just move up one tier uh, to be able to have our, our sport go. Um, we got a great group of guys, great personalities, and uh, so we had a big challenge as a coaching staff to uh, take these athletes and teach them how to play baseball. So I love you guys at Tri-City. We are all waiting for CIF to give us the green light. Thanks, Kobe. We're looking forward to the coming sports season. Now here's Emma and our ASB president, Sydney Thompson, with an important announcement. Good morning, Tri-City. Today we have our ASB co-president in studio here to talk about upcoming events. I hear you have some exciting events planned soon. Could you elaborate on that? Yes, of course. So actually, we have our winter formal coming up. It's, we're so excited to announce it. Our theme is going to be City of Love. So it's going to be kind of Paris theme, lots of fun, food, Friends, activities, it's going to be a lot of fun. It will be semi-formal, so make sure you dress like you would at homecoming. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're really excited. If people want to um, plan on t attending that event, what steps can they take to do that? Uh, yeah, so um, we're trying to decide on a date, so make sure you check out our um, Instagram account. We're choosing between Thursday, Saturday, or Monday of President's Weekend, so make sure you go check that out and put in um, which date you think will be best. Tickets will be $40, and um, it will be COVID-friendly, and we'll be keeping socially distanced. Make sure you wear your masks, or we will be sending people home. And um, sign-ups are starting Wednesday the 27th for only seniors, so that seniors can get their spots in. And then everybody else, uh, sign-ups will start February 1st, so make sure you get out there and get your time slot. Thanks for all your hard work, and thank you for coming into the studio today. Back to you, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, ASB. Well, that's all we have for today on Tri-City News Network. Thank you, Tri-City, and have a great week.